um, a tool video this time. So we are going to get all of that into that. Will it fit? It came out, so I mean, I guess it should. <laughs> all right, now seriously, um, this is clickbait, not all this fit in this bag, but it's pretty close. I've, I've just added some like essential stuff that I've been carrying in my little LC for the time being. Uh, I've been doing some maintenance stuff, so I don't want to lug this big beast around. So we're going to put what I think is a much more manageable loadout in this. This thing was like 20 kilos without the drill in it, so it was too heavy. So I need to cull some of this stuff. I'm carrying a lot of duplicates. I'm carrying a lot of duplicates here up there that sort of stuff so i'm going to make this a more reasonable carry for every day but i still want this bag if i pull this bag out of the truck i can do any job that's the idea with it so some of this stuff here this really could go in like a switchboard bag and then i could have this as a bit of a more everyday thing and just grab the spanners as i need because i'm lugging all these spanners around every day and the reality is you just don't need this much crap in your bag at all times <laughs> i mean it's ridiculous it's good but it's ridiculous <laughs> so all right so i'm gonna start with some of the essentials here and I'll, I'll pop you in the tripod and then we'll just go through it bit by bit uh, i'm gonna remove the stuff that isn't going in the bag i'll put it off to the side and then we can sort of see what we're dealing with here all right be right back all right, so if you haven't seen it before i've done a video on it but uh this is my mp2 so I've it's pretty pretty stuck, but I wear this on a tool belt. So my pliers wrench, uh, got the speedy drill uh, from Bessel, bits and bobs in there. That's a little um, this guy's a little um, uh, probe thing for a multimeter. Got the Easy Prime stuff on there, and um, yeah, just a little tape loop, peak pencils, and all the essentials. So this goes on my belt. I wear this every day. So this gear doesn't need to be in this bag because it, it's basically always on me. So we'll put this aside and keep going. Pens, pencils, rulers, all this sort of stuff. I'm happy with that in this pocket here. So I'm just going to pop that in quickly. And uh, yeah, see you in a sec. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. All right, so I've got the pens and stuff in there. Happy with that. That, was, that worked pretty well. So I'm just going to ramble and repack it as I liked it beforehand. And we can see what's what. So, just got, what is it? Just got some of these. I lost a couple of the 5 16th, so I bought the Milwaukee ones. What a wanker. Alright, so I've got the socket bits again. Just, they're just cheapos, you know, these things break, so no big deal if you, um, if you just have to replace them every now and then. Alright, um, what else we got up there? I'm gonna have to edit these little rambly bits out, I suppose, but bitty bit bit. I guess that went in there. What else did I have in this silly pouch? Right, so just just random bits and Phillips and uh, a bit for the um, the big hex screws. They're really good. You know, I I use that like quite a bit actually. I have to find a I have to find a screw. Show you what I mean. They are these ones. These screws are absolutely excellent for fixing uni truck because you can put a 10 mil washer there and uh, it'll fix into you know 50 mil gets through double air jet proc and a seal stud. Perfect. I love these things. They're not too expensive either. Um yep, so I've got my little we are speedy bit driver things. I can go in there. Where is the other stuff? See, I've, I've shuffled everything now and I don't know where anything went. Maybe I'll just put these in. Some spare bits. That'll do, anyway. That'll do. Alright. So yeah, that's that little top bit done. Now, I had I have this... I bought this years ago, this is a little um, micro driver and it came with all these different bits and I've chopped and changed out of a bunch of different sets 
to make it more manageable. So these markings on the front are useless. You just need to look on there and see what's what. I think there's the pentalobe one for iPhones and all sorts of things in there. Little hex ones. I don't use this too often, but you know, when you need it, you need it. So I'll just keep it up in there. And the driver just lives in here, just like that. All right, so speaking of these pockets, we can fill those back up. So I have my Klein bivouac -y thing in there. I'll combo that with this thing usually, so that's just where it's always lived. Shout out to uh, JBEC. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, these are just for Insta photos really, let's be real. Put them up there, tuck them out of the way. Now, something I didn't show in the thing, but I actually keep... It seems like a... Where is it? it seems like a stupid thing to keep, honestly, but... Um, some fuse wire. You ever come to a, a house and you know they don't want to upgrade a board and you pop a blow a fuse with some fuse wire oh my god absolute nightmare so i'll just keep some of that to reinstate the existing work i know it's not like the right thing to do really you really should be removing ceramic fuses and uh, fixing them up but it is what it is some people don't want to pay you can't do the work for free so let me tweezies pulling splinters and picking up little things and whatnot my two punches so that's my starrett auto punch and then i've just got this one old grandpappy's a star willy star willy just like me all right my little brush brushy brush that just that just lives in there too i don't know why that got missed on that section all right and my little inspection mirror look who's there handsome Joan, do you like my beautiful face? You are beautiful, and I can't see your friends, so she must be beautiful too. <laughs> right, back in action. Got me a uh, strippy knife. Very nice, as always. That doesn't really have a spot. I, it sort of lives in there. Now I, I do want to cull some stuff, so. But, but again, this could be maybe my switchboard bag. So, interesting. I'll leave it out for now. Got to have the crimps. So, they're the Nipex um, bootlace crimps. They are excellent, obviously. Um, these little flush cuts as well. So, they definitely live, they have historically lived in there. So, they can go back there. That's all good. All right, and then the um, little Zyklop with my... 10 mil Barco ratchet that I can't remember where I got the ratchet from, but that's fine. That's always lived in there, so that's good. Um, well, we'll do the obvious thing. We'll just uh, put the front down, level back on. Gonna jump around a bit here, I reckon. It's all over the shop. The hammers, even though I have a hammer, but the second pair of hammers, they just go there. Nice, easy access for smacking stuff. Twin grips as well. These things are really, really good, guys. Would encourage you to get some. And the comfort grips are better, obviously. Always, always comfort grips are better. Now, my little conduit here is for my file and my jet box off. Sexy back of the head shot there. Right, and the purpose of the tube there is to prevent your bag getting chuffed up, even though it has been chuffed up a little bit there. Like that, and then everything's protectorized. So, two big sets of uh, pliers and trues. Now they they have lived here for quite a while. As you can see, it just sort of everything's sliding in nice. And then my calipers, which are extremely cheap, don't concern yourself with the. Um, the quality of them it's really for checking if it's imperial or metric typically and they, they just live in there too so everything tucks down in pretty neat and it doesn't poke me in the doesn't poke me there too much so yeah so that's all that it's nice and tight um hammer so the hammer 
has lived here historically. Now I've changed this up a little bit. I made that a little bit, I made that a little bit longer. Just to, yeah, that's a bit better. I'll put the hammer here. Yeah. Okay, and I had the speedy. I was rocking the speedy here, but I bought this beautiful case, this Weeha case. So now I'm keeping that in the pack out for a little divergence here. But Wah! look at that. That's very sexually attractive, isn't it? So the speedy used to live there. But since it's in here now, it's got all the bits and stuff with it. So I'll leave it with that. So I guess we need, we can put something else there. What though? Alright, so bolt cutters, they live here. And I've got the two two big drivers, right? So one's just the 6.5 or you know, bit of big bit bigger than a quarter inch. And that one's the super breaker torque driver, what are they called? Posi. There's a fucking part number. I don't know, it's all worn off. I, I use this all the time. Any breakers or anything like that, it's um, it's really, really good. That goes to the front, goes to the back. And it sort of tucks in a little bit. There, there we go. That's all grand. So my, again, back to these. They have historically lived just down here. Tuck them in there, that's pretty good. All right. Um... Strippers. So, I recently, I've got like a, a hundred different type of strippers, but these are my current current daily uses, and they're really good for uh, stranded, just stripping when you're, um, you know, I forgot my tool belt, I'll just chuck this in one of my pouches, and I use this instead of stripping with my pliers, which I am good at stripping with my pliers, but this is really good. So, I'm just going to pop them there for a minute, but that's sharing... It's sharing a spot with something else, so we'll leave them to the side for a minute. But boot laces, and you got your strippers. So let's have a look at some of these cobras. Now, I'm not a huge fan of these ones, the alligator style ones with the, you know, they're more of a traditional channel lock. I think the cobras are definitely better. So I'm gonna can these ones out of this bag. So they're going to the side. I've got a little set of them as well, so the little set um, I actually like a little bit better, but again, it's it's still like I'll just, and for, the, for the sake of weight, so I've got the auto grip ones here, so you just pop that button and then it will grip sort of wherever it grabs, there you go, so it's grip there, so they're actually really, really handy for any sort of cable tray, if you've got to hold some uh, threaded rod or whatever. Brook a rod, what are you, I don't know what Americans call it, threaded rod, threaded rod, you know. Um, got the little, little cobras, All right? So, those and the little pliers wrench and my one and only adjustable shifter. Well, I mean, I've got a couple, but you know, there's that little one too, but that's like a pocket job when I'm doing maintenance more often than not. So, these typically just lived in here. gonna go sorry the freaking phone's in my way and I can't see and yes it's a phone I'm not a big fucking buck fucking, I don't, can't afford a nice camera get in there all right excellent so now what to do with these spanners I kind of want to keep the spanners in there I like having them I'm fighting with myself we'll put this for the meantime that's the uh the bouquet, the Weeha bouquet driver nuts thing. Well, I can live in there for the minute. Um, I'll get my little, I stole this idea off uh, Surf Bay, Sparky, UK guy. I am making a picture of my tools actually. It's a motion picture, in fact. Are you going to come and star? Well, everyone can hear you right now. I hope you know that.
keeps it in there nice. So. Yeah, all right. Well, if you if you kind of come out and be part of the video, you got to be quiet because everyone wants to listen to what I have to say about my silly ass tool bag here. That is a mini crowbar, which goes in here. It's tucked in there. This it, this was a bit of a joke, but it's actually extremely handy. Is this a hole? Yeah, it is a tool. I am actually. Alright, so that's the little crescent uh, insulating driver. That's a big long uh, extension bar for a quarter inch ratchet, which has historically just lived in there as well. I think it's time you went to bed actually, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so screwdriver here. We always need a few little drivers, you know. So that, that just lives there. Okay. Um, yep, just a little tiny, tiny point. Oh my God, focus. Little tiny point we are. These are really good. I, um, I've basically converted completely to, to this, to this though. So this thing's really good. Not redundant, but it's probably not, it doesn't have a place in this bag anymore. Now this one, this is my beta. It's a one, it's a one, point eight. I have the point eight and the one. So this is just for poking holes in drip rock for hollow wall anchors and whatnot. So that's going to always have a spot in here. And then I keep the uh, one point zero for like in another bag that I'm carrying around. I've always got one of these in in in, in a bag. Right. Right. Just a. Uh, Terminal driver that I like at the moment, so it's in there for giggles. Um, Got to have some insulated um, pointy nose pliers, so these are a Fluke brand one. And also, while we're at it, I've got the Nipex fully insulated, so if you need to get into a live board, poke around and pull some wires, this is the tool you need. Um, you're not going to arc out against anything else while you're in there. It's completely insulated it's all plastic and like as you can see it's got a bit of give i mean it's it, they're quite strong you can put a bit of you can put a bit of pressure on them and it's not going to break glass reinforced glass fiber reinforced whatever it's called so i'll we'll tuck them in there these down in there too if everything fits which it sort of does that's looking all right and this big nut driver i want to use it I desperately want to use it, but I really struggle to find the opportunities to. Like, I mean, a spanner just works all the time, you know, or a socket. I just, I want to have this in this bag, but this, this thing weighs like a fair bit as well. So I'll put it in for the time being, but um, it, it just, historically, it's just sat in the middle, just wedged in between everything else. The, yeah, you know, like, so anyway. Um, so this last little V-swap pocket here uh, has just used to just carry all my small spanners, which I think I will throw back in. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this bag up the way it was. I think I don't really want to. I actually like having it set up how it is. So I've decided while we're all doing this together. So all these spanners just tuck in there. So it's everything up to 10 mil basically, and then that that we're joke one that. Got this in the maintenance kit, so it's handy for the um, nut retention feature. Which, if you haven't seen, if you if you put a nut in it, it's a, tw a twelve point on this side, but it's only six point on that side. So you can actually sit a nut. See those tabs? You can sit a nut on there and hold it with this, get it into somewhere um, difficult. And it, it, I've used that that feature specifically, almost exclusively on this, because it's obviously not a ratchet spanner. Yeah. Um, Right, so my panel key, it just it just hooks on here up here. Just tucks in. Yeah, I'll just tuck it in there for a minute. Keep it out of the way. Alright, so I've got a little pry bar. You know, you can use like the, the big screwdriver, big wearer screwdrivers or, or this. So that just leaves in the side where all the spanners did as well. And 
speaking of the spanners, here they all are. So the sizes that I keep, so obviously the Barco ones, there are four size, 16 one side, 17 on the other. So you can see it's slightly smaller on the inside. So that is like a, a 12 point spanner kit, including the one that's in here. So that's really handy, but they're quite thick and chunky. They're hard to use in some places, though I do use them quite a bit. Um, if I'm in a board or something and I don't want to break my knuckles, uh, I go for the non-ratcheting style. So the sizes that I keep um, are based on like the common nut sizes here. So we've got a 19 mil, so that does um, M12 stuff. Um, got a 17, so 17 does the 8.8 .8 rated bolts um, in an M10 size. Uh, the 16 does like the 4.8 rated bolts. So the 16 is a lot more common, but 17 is a sometime sort of deal. And switchboards just typically say 8.8, so I don't know what 8.8 .8 means. It's just the torque, torque spec of a bolt. And then I keep two ratchet spanners here, just a 16 and a 13. And then obviously a 13 mil um, 12 point as well. Alright, so we're going to have a little intermission because this is getting long. I need to take a piss. BRB. Right, we're back. I've just uh, consolidated what was left. Oh no, now, I can't, now my tripod's fucked. Sorry for the death wobbles. Alright, so that's where we're at. We're getting there. There's a lot to go though. <laughs> Alright, so I've got my Leica 100 meter laser measuring tool which always stays in this bag and it goes in its nice pouch keeps it nice and safe and it fits very nicely just on the side here and it tucks in there and it sorry I had to pause I couldn't find it but uh, that's my lead lenser inspection torch light thing so it's got light uh, light a light and then a actual like torch as well this is a really nice little thing. Uh, the only thing I wish it had was the, um, uh, just let me grab one, oh, I've got it here. So the new LED lens stuff has like a magnetic charger and it just sits on those chabs and it will charge your torch. This is just like one of those old school like poke-in chargers, which was unfortunate. I bought this, LED lens sent me some of these um, goodies and then I bought this afterwards because I was so chuffed with them. Um, and it was either this or that um, Unilight 975 or 900, Inspection Light 900 or whatever it is. And I bought this, but that's the only little issue that I've got with it. So it's got a little hook, magnetic on the bottom. It's, it's really, really handy. So that just lives in here as well. And if you get it in right, poke it down, that shuts up, you know, pretty respectably. Not too out of control, you know. Right, so, oh, well, that's not going on all the way, or is that just how it is? There we go. Lovely. There we go. Alright, so, I've got my um, safe styles. Got the, ca the case too. Now, these, these are old, right? These are probably a year old. No scratches. It's a bit gross because I've been sweating in them. It's the only problem with these glasses. They get a bit manky after a while, but... That's not coming out anyway. But the point is, no lens scratches. So I keep them in this. And they're not in that case. They're in this. And I put them in there as well. So just goes to show, like, if you do pay a little bit extra, like, the, these safety glasses are about 20 bucks. If you buy a set on their own, the case will save you money as well because you're not replacing glass. I hate wearing glasses with scratches on them. It's like a, a pet peeve and, um, you know, it puts me off wearing them, if, especially if you're wearing them for a long period of time. Only gripe I've got with the safe styles um, while we're on the topic, if you're wearing earmuffs, these things are hugely uncomfortable. So down the track safe styles, maybe consider doing something about that. Um, 
All right, so I think we'll do a little twist through and we'll go around the back. We'll load up the back of this thing. So I'll show you what we historically kept in there. All right. All right, so tool check. This thing comes everywhere. I've actually changed up some of the bits in it because I wanted to have some uh, SAE stuff. So Imperial and Hex, uh, metric Hex, because I work on enough American machines in an industrial setting that you need those hex keys. And, you know, I prefer to have, um, I prefer to have little bits because you can put them in the ratchet or you can put them in my Zyklop ratchet. It's much quicker than using like, uh, and you know, one of these bad boys, you know, these are slow as shit, you know, when you want to use them. So the other thing that lived in there was my multi-grip heads. So all the different gripper, all the different, um, crimping heads. So you got your feral, what are they? Can't even see. You've got your like normal lug, like big lugs. The big bootlace lugs, the little bootlace lugs, and they are, uh, I don't know what they are. I haven't used them to be honest, but anyway. Basically you got a five in one crimper, pop in there, and then it's pretty well always got the insulated lugs because that's what I'm using for 90% of the time. Right, and what else is in here? Oh, I've got to pull this out for the shot. Okay, Sparky. Set me on this little laser pointer. Ooh wee. This thing goes for miles. Like I can see it in the trees like down there. Anyway, that was in there because I didn't have another spot for it. It's my little apprentice apprentice whisperer pointer tool. Right, put that in there. Put that in there. Just tuck everything in. It's a like a micro USB chargeable doodad as well. Alright, so that's a little bulbous there, but that's all right. All right, so on the side here, I've got gloves. So obviously, the walkie gloves that were in my ridiculous clickbait title. Put them in there. Them off. So in the side here, this was my meter side. And look, you'd never thought you could keep these things, but they're the. Oh, sorry, you never think you could keep these things, but they're the probe tips for the T6. They've been in this little thing and they've stayed safe the whole time. So T6, my favorite meter. It's got a Klein magnet on the back. Hang it up on my panel. Excellent, excellent. Um, let's get these twists out of lead while we're here. And the lead's stuck away in the back just like so. Really want to buy the Pro, but I can't justify 500 bucks for a new meter wow. that does 90%. And the T6, like, I don't do the zipper all the way up because it, it puts a tiny bit of pressure on those leads, but fits in there perfectly, really. It's a, it's the bag was made for it. All right, um, what else? So just my magnet. It's a big neodymium magnet. It just leaves on the side and clips on there. Um, my lockout kit. So I've got, you know, locks, lockouts. And it all lives in one of like these veto veto bags. I keep everything in there. There's different different dogs and for different size breakers, all sorts of different stuff. Not to see, I've got more tags. Yeah, this is just my basic basic set to lock anything out. That's like a you can lock a few breakers out if you've got a couple of different dogs. And uh, I think there should be like a multi lock in here somewhere. Anyway, I'll, I'll sort that out later. No, that just clips on the side as well. Right. Um, right, so we'll probably go to the front here. So this pouch is actually, on the TPXL, is massive. It's huge. So I've got some stuff in there. So I made up these jumper leads. I bought these off um, Amazon for cheap, 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 cheap. And I replaced the cable and I resoldered it. I made... I, I ups, upsized the cable and I resoldered it and now they are actually like they won't sold it at all when I got them but they came with the alligator clips and the um, 
and the little booties here. So you know, I've got like pretty decent Allardale clips for cheap. Like I bought like 20 or 30 of these for like seven or eight bucks. And I've just, you know, I've made about 10 of these new ones up. I've made them, you know, actually made them properly. They weren't even sold, they were just wrapped around the, yeah. I digress. I've got my little cable, cable clamp thing, got it from Bunnings. It's been handy, so I've just got some, um, we use uh, orange and purple for 24 volt. So I've just got that on the side. I've used it a handful of times, it's just been handy if you need to make a little jumper in a panel or something. Pretty good. My conduit cutters. Now, they have been living in there too, actually. So this, this, this front pouch pocket here has been some hot property recently. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so, all right. So what I used to carry in this, this side, where's my tape? Tape goes on there. All right, we'll take it off for a second there. Now, in this pouch, all of these... Um, all of these screw bits, so I've got, you know, shit, shit loads of these things. There's some specialty, like, quarter-inch drill size ones for the impact if you need them. I might put them up here, actually, so they're a bit more easy access. And then there's, I've got step bits and extensions and, you know, there's a big-ass step bit here as well. And then there's a, um, like a... What would you call that? An outer reamer for a threaded rod? Doesn't work like particularly well. Like I, f I find using a grinder or if you've got a belt sander or something, that's always better. But you know, it's there. It, this one was relatively inexpensive. It worked better than the other one I've had, that was for sure. But yeah, I mean, I'd save you money. Just use your grinder, honestly. All right, so that these are, these all go in here. And I'm just going to chuck them in haphazardly because that's how they were before. Little burr that I've been looking for. I thought I lost that. I'll put that back in my um, my little die grinder kit. And again, I'll probably put these up here. I reckon. I'll pop them up here with those guys or something. Back. Or maybe, maybe I'll just piss these off because they're all just, yeah, I like that. That's better. And I'll just keep two. You always need one. And I'll put them somewhere else. In the drawers behind me or something. All right, what else? So I've got the Black Panthers. These are like a bit redundant because I've got the Nipex shears here too. They are a very similar, similar unit. Apart from the fact that they're spring-loaded. But these things will cut steel cable ties, whatever. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't cut steel cable ties with that. They're more for cable, but these, these just cut anything. And they're cheap, cheap, cheap. They're like 20 bucks here. But nearly every Aussie Sparky's got a pair of these somewhere. So yeah, um, we're running out of stuff actually. So if we put the hammer back in, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'll show you what's left on the table here. So, like, some of this stuff is just pocket gear, and um, obviously I don't keep my impact in here anymore. Though, with the current layout, I probably could. If I just piss this stupid, this guy off, it would probably fit in there again, like it used to. It's a fucking joke, isn't it? We've got all the right tools here. lost that but like I said I mean I've, I struggled to use the thing anyway anyway so back to the top I've got super glue there's some earplugs what else goes in there just the connector anything else oh, yeah. my I've just got some black white and food grade little tiny cable ties for this and that and my PowerPoint mark out tool now usually this goes in my belt but when it's not in my belt again I want this bag to be my go-to so all this stuff, I'll tuck that back in there. 
just always got a couple of connectors and that just that just fits in there nice as well and glue and everything and my what else? I've got my notepads here as well my little I love these little notepads thanks uh, time from T Lily Kemba he made up a bunch of these because I made a couple of Instagram stories ages back saying how much I like having little notepads and he sent me like 20 of them uh, Wago some band-aids that, that little screwdriver is my everyday carry anyway and yeah so just some band-aids and a big bunch of those cable ties again so tuck all them in there and I'll show you how well that all fits in there you know I mean that's that, there's a lot of gear in there and it you know it fits bag still closes definitely full but like it's it, the the bag can definitely handle handle what you're putting it through so now my only other little thing here now I know this is a bit of a double redundancy thing but I bought this uh, vessel bit kit really nice bit kit right it's got all the would you focus it's got all the nice bits so there's Imperial there's um, metric there's the big Phillips you know like the posi single one of each in each kit now it's it's a bit redundant because I'd, i've got the tool check in there but if it fits in this pocket i'm going to put it in here and leave it but i don't think it's going to fit but if it does oh baby yeah not really no oh, flippant anyway um that in there. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, I'll put all that stuff in back on camera. Um, <coughs> la, did it. All right, so the only real bone of contention is that, but I can leave there, I suppose. It doesn't really fit. Will this fit in here as well? Maybe if I flip it over. Put that in there. Yeah, there we go. Killing it. Killing it. What else? I think that's about it. So I'll show you. I'll show you what's left. What's left on the table that I haven't got in there. You can see my strippers, which, you know, I can just do that, really. Uh, the level, that goes on my tool belt, so that's fine. I've got this uh, it's just a recent little tool purchase video now, but it's the Ox Tough Rule. Paddy from Carpentry and Me, he got me onto that, so shout out to you, bro. Um, what else? So the cold pair of alligators, my little um, tiny shifter, stripper. I want to get that in there though, still. There'll be a spot for it somewhere. I'll find something, I'll find something. These live in my pack out these days. And that, that is about it. Uh, I've got this little gimbal little gimbal ratchet so it's pretty snip snazzy I think that went in the back of the bag with the um, with the uh, my tool track and stuff but yeah look check that out beyond weird angles and stuff still ratchet stuff yeah I've I barely use that it's just handy like in a um, in a tight spot so I'll find a spot for that too but yeah, I think that'll wrap it up, honestly. I've um, I've just about, you know, exhausted this video for, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, that's the TPXL, guys. Sorry, I've sort of taped it off here at the end, but, I mean, this stuff here, that's all everyday carry pocket stuff. That just lives in there. I mean, it doesn't live on there. Hang on. Voila. That lives there. And the Black Panthers just live in living there. So that's the bag, boys and girls. Um, yeah. Happy for any input, but um, otherwise, thank you for watching another video. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment, all that shit. Um, yeah, that goes on my handle up the top here. But yeah, that's about it. Just need to find that. That lived in the top pouch as well. But that's it, yeah.
the end. All right, I'll see you next one.